Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add uh, sounds to the game. Uh, the background music and some sound effects for when the, the frog is moving, uh, when the frog uh, dies or drowns, stuff like that. So let me just start by showing you the game working with the sounds. And I'm going to shut up for a minute. Uh, so let me just compile the game because we have sounds right from the beginning. Let me see. Oh, the sounds are not working. Oh, I mu <laughs> I muted I muted the this before, so that's why. But okay, we have a sound that plays here when the the game starts, which is like a, the coin, the credit sound. Let me see if I can play it for you. Uh, sprites. Oh, I have it here. Yeah, I'm not singing. Sounds. Yeah, coin. This one. So this is the sound that we play when we start the intro scene. And then let me show you. Okay, and now I'm gonna shut up. So And this is it. <laughs> so basically we have sounds. Let me show you here. We have sounds, the coin sound, which is the one that we play when in the intro scene, when the game starts. Then we have uh, extra sound I didn't show you, but it's basically a sound that we play when the, the player, the frog reaches one of the houses. The hop sound, the moving sound of the frog. The background music, which is playing on a loop. The plunk, which is when the frog uh, drowns. And the squatch, which is when the frog is hit by a car. And so, basically, what we need to do to add sounds to the game is to first import the sounds that we need. So you can create a new sound. Let me just show you. Test. And you need to import the game, the sounds as an MP3 or OGG, basically. It doesn't accept uh, wave sounds. And basically just drag the sound here or search for the sound. And that's it. I mean, you can just preview to see if the sound is okay. And you have a few... You have like a few guidelines here to for the sound uh, properties. Uh, I didn't like worry uh, about this. Uh, I just imported the sounds into Audacity and exported them as MP3, and it's okay. So I'm just gonna share the sound with you guys. So, uh, but if you have your own sound, just check if everything is working uh, okay. So you have the sounds. Uh, let me see. let me just remove this one. And now to play the sound is really easy. So, for example, you go to the intro scene and we have the sounds category. We have a lot of stuff here for the sounds, but the way that we are using the sound is pretty simple. So, basically what I'm doing is when I start the intro scene, I stop all the sounds. And this is because we might uh, come to this uh, scene from another one. So, I just want to stop all the sound effects. And I play the sound coin, which I got from here. Ah, you can play. Oh, you can whoop also. Oh. So I'm making a mistake on the other one. So okay, you can play or loop the sound. And in this case, I'm just playing the sound coin. Now for the main scene. In the main scene, let me show you. So which is when the game starts. On the events, probably. Yeah, on the events, I added a new created event here on the main scene. And basically, I'm looping. But I don't need to use this. I, I thought that I needed to use this because I didn't find the, the loop on the other one, but that was my mistake. So I just loop the sound, and you select the sound, and in this case it's the music. Because I don't need to worry about the channels or anything, so just, okay, loop the music sound uh, here. Actually, I need to check if this is going to work, because I don't know if you can be looping the sound and playing sound effects. I'm just going to check in a minute. Uh, once again, I'm making uh, changes <laughs> while I'm recording, yes. Uh, so we look the sound, and then we just need to go to the specific places where we need to, where we want to play, uh, to play the, um, the sound effects and just uh, use the block play sound. So for example, on the movement, on the block, uh, on the move block, you can see play hop. On the frog collision, I have here on the destroy. And here I basically did, 
I'm playing a, a different sound according to the animation. So I'm checking if the animation is drawn, I play the plunk. Otherwise, if it's die, I play the squash. And you cannot, I, I, initially I tried if else, but the else didn't work because we are destroying the player in some other cases when we want to reset the player. We are also destroying the player uh, using this block and so it would play a sound and we don't want that. So make sure that you play the plunk sound when it's drowning and you play the squash sound when it's dying. And so we have those movement, the movement and on the game manager, yes, we have on the frog wins, which is when the, um, the frog reach, reaches one of the houses. So we just play the extra sound. And on the end screen, I'm just stopping all the sounds. So when the game ends and we go to the end screen, I just stop everything, the music and the sound effects, everything. And this is it. Um, I'm just going to run the game just to see if I'm... I didn't break anything by changing the play on channel to play sound. Because now I'm thinking that if it stops the other sounds or if it, I should be playing the background music on one channel, I have no idea. Uh, so let me just check. So now you heard the, the coin sound that appears on the intro scene. And yes, it's working, so <laughs> I didn't break anything. And this is it, I mean, adding the sounds. Um, in this case, it's pretty simple because the algorithm you are doing is just like playing sound effects on specific moments, so uh, that's it. Oh yeah, um, I think the game is all done. So the next video, at least let me make sure if I'm not mistaken, the sound, yes. So on the next video, pro I'm just gonna show you some changes that I need to, to make uh, to the game to fix some of the bugs because uh, so far we have been having some bugs when we are moving the frog uh, on top of the turtles and on top of the walls so the frog would just uh, was being drowned out of nowhere and stuff like that so i did some debugging and i tried to fix all those bugs so i'm going to show you what i did so this is it thank you guys